Welcome to the Brand Theory Podcast, the podcast for helping you uncover your passion, realize your purpose, and take the aligned action. Together, we're going to prove the theory that when we live our lives on brand, the possibilities become limitless. I'm your host, Danielle Marchesi, branding expert and business coach. Let's get started. Welcome back to another episode of the Brand Theory Podcast. Today, I want to do something slightly different. If you've been following me over on Instagram, you know I've been doing some brand audits of celebrities, other business owners, influencers in the field, just people who have really curated a very impactful, a very well-known personal brand in congruence with their business brand and how beneficial it is to have the two work together and kind of marry those two. So last week I did one on Kylie Jenner and Amanda Francis, kind of from two separate worlds, but who have both created super, super impactful brands that have us talking both online and offline. And yesterday on my Instagram, I talked all about Jay Shetty as the person and the brand. And again, how those two really work together. So I'm going to let this episode kind of speak to itself. Um, Keep in mind, this was a live on Instagram and I thought I heard a really weird noise and it was just a dog barking. So you'll hear a little bit of a pause and me explaining that (laughs) I just heard a dog and it tripped me up a little bit. I thought it was inside the house, but that is completely besides the point. (laughs) If you have any questions about this, please, please, please let me know. I love talking to you guys about this and please don't forget that if you want to start creating that same impact, such as a Kylie Jenner or an Amanda Francis, or Jay Shetty, you could be doing something completely different. But the first step is really starting to curate your own personal brand that speaks for itself. So I will let you get into this episode and I will talk to you soon. Hello, hello. We are back again with another celebrity brand audit. I um, just want to pin this really quick. Okay, so today we are going to be talking about Jay Shetty, the brand. Um, Last week, I talked about Amanda Francis and Kylie Jenner Jenner as brands. We've been talking a lot in my content about personal brands and how it can be so easy to incorporate your personality in every aspect of your business into this crazy, easy way to communicate who you are. And what that does is builds up a like, trust, and no factor inside your business. And what that does is builds a community that already trusts you. And when you put out products, programs, all of the in-between, they are more likely to turn from community members to paying clients. So today we are going to be looking at a brand that I personally love, and that is Jay Shetty. I don't know if anybody has read his book. I'm currently still listening to it. I'm just about ready to wrap it up, but I didn't know so many things about him. So I just want to kind of go over his story a little bit and then really dissect how he's really bringing out his personality into his brand and how that is the thing that sells for him. Um, I'm freezing by the way, so I have my blanket on. Excuse me. I don't know if anyone else is feeling super cold today, but I have had this chill that I just can't shake all day. Okay, so Jay Shetty, he is a purposeful coach, um, and he helps people uncover their purpose and live from a place of passion, which is actually very similar to work that I do, but he does it in a slightly different way. His backstory is also extremely different and something that I have never read before. So he graduated from college, and he just was not fulfilling, feeling fulfilled by the work that he was doing. He didn't know what he really wanted to do, what direction he wanted to really take in life. Um, But he just kept getting called to doing something more simple. He was working 80 hours a week, again, not feeling fulfilled in his work, not necessarily seeing really a future for himself in doing what he was doing. Um, And he started talking to, he went to a seminar with a friend of his and a monk was speaking or a past monk was speaking and because monks can't speak. And they were, he just got really in touch with or really connected with this person who was speaking about this way of life that was much simpler. They were connected to a higher purpose. They were connected to a higher power. So then he, afterwards, he started talking to this guy and sooner rather than later, he found himself at a full monk school, we'll call it. And he was training to be a monk. And 
he spent, I don't remember exactly how long, but he, his job or his purpose was to study, to meditate, to sleep, to eat, to learn, to engage in the knowledge and to engage in this lifestyle. That was his only thing. That was his only purpose. And from that, he was able to learn so much about himself and really see that there is so much more to life than what he was doing and that he it is very important to him to feel connected to this work and to feel connected with this purpose and this passion that he has. So he spent, I don't know, it was, I think it was just about a year, a little bit less than that. And he left, he left the monastery and he, um, decided that he couldn't go back to a corporate job. He, there was no way that he was able to do that every day. There was no way, no way he was able to wake up and feel that feeling of being unfulfilled. So he made it his life's mission to then help other people have their own sort of awakening. Not that he was throwing people in monk school, but he wanted to kind of bring the same principles of teaching that we can work from this place of purpose and passion, and it doesn't have to look the same way it looks for everybody else. If you see yourself being a doctor, if you see yourself working in a corporate office, if that's what gets you going, then he says that that's totally fine. And that's, again, kind of what I like to communicate in my brand as well. But he said, if you are feeling that there's a misconnect in anything in life, in your relationship, but especially in what we're doing every day for a job, we spend so much time doing what we do every single day, right? We spend eight hours working or typically eight hours working five days a week. That's a lot of time to be spending doing something that you don't enjoy, that you don't feel fulfilled by, that you don't feel that you have a higher purpose with or a higher connection with. So he, his entire brand is now ded- dedicated to teaching different ways to do this and teaching how to uncover your own passion or how to uncover your own purpose. So he does this through podcasts, through his new book, through he's got courses, he's got coaching programs. Um, He's interviewed some of the best names in the business on his podcast and through his different trainings and such. And his book, I forget the exact stats, but his book had a crazy a crazy over the top launch in terms of numbers that were sold that made the top charts almost immediately. And the point of me telling you this is all of his time that he spent building this brand and positioning his messaging and positioning himself as the expert, of course he had that book launch that broke a million records. Of course he has these people who book, who are begging to be on his podcast or that who say yes in the blink of an eye because his reputation precedes him, because his brand speaks for him, because he resonates with the Khloe Kardashians, the, the late Kobe Bryant's, the who else did he have on his podcast? the Russell Brands, the Oprah Winfrey's, he's having huge names on his podcast because again, his brand speaks for him. His reputation precedes him. That is what your brand has the power to do. Of course it has the, what he has too is this crazy impact. It has an impact that flows beyond people that he will ever meet, beyond people he will ever have conversations with, with people he will never even have any kind of one-on-one interaction, but we're watching him. The way I got first introduced to him was through his videos. I think I used to see them on Facebook all the time, was his little inspirational videos. There are a few minutes and they're always the title. If you're thinking about leaving your partner, watch this. If you're thinking about starting a business, watch this. If you're feeling depressed, watch this. And it's just three minute videos. They're usually slow style. They have his voice as an overview. And at the end, you see him sitting in front of the camera, speaking a bit to the subject. That is his brand. That is his brand. Copy and paste to every single video. If you're on my last week live, I kept stopping and turning because I heard noises and I hear the dog barking outside. Sorry. Okay. So that is his brand. He does that copy and paste every single video. They're recognizable because he repeats the same system. He repeats the same type of video that we're seeing. This It's a different message, but it's the same thing. Before I even knew it was Jay Shetty, I knew that those videos that kept popping up were from the same person because of the style that they followed. So anyway, he's always teaching his kind of his thing, his it factor, let's call it his superpower, is teaching people through different medias, whether it's a podcast interview, a inspirational video, a blog post, his book, he is always coming back to the purpose of teaching other people how to find their purpose and live through their purpose and their passion. So that is his brand. That is what he is known for. So again, your brand and your business has the power to impact people that you will never meet, that you will never have a conversation with, but you have no idea. And he has no idea if that one video changed somebody's life. 
He has no idea if that one post prompted somebody to go and start their business. He has no idea if that one podcast interview he had with Kobe Bryant before he passed away launched somebody's mindset into a completely different way of thinking. You have the same ability. You have a different message. You have a different superpower. You have a different purpose in yourself, in your business, but you have the same ability. You have the same power to impact this amount of people or to impact people without you ever seeing their face, whether that's through an email, a post, an Instagram post, a podcast interview, anything. You have that ability. If you start a business, chances are you feel that you have a deeper rooted connection, a passion, a purpose that you are supposed to live out. Your business is the perfect place to experiment with that and to execute on that. Now, what we want to do is make sure we're building a brand alongside of our business or building that personal end of our business that speaks for us. Your personal brand is your opportunity to connect with people without even knowing them, for your audience to get to like, trust and know you. I don't, I have never met Jay Shetty. I probably, I don't know, maybe, maybe we'll run into each other in a supermarket in LA or something. You never know. But I feel that I trust him. I feel that if he were to put out in a scientific article, I could believe him without going and fact checking. He has positioned himself as the expert in that field, but also as a very, very trustworthy person. He shows that in his brand. He shows his personality in his brand, and it's not just through his content. If you go and you watch any interview that he has been in, he's always very modestly dressed in a t-shirt and jeans, very basic. He speaks very coherently. He speaks very, his voice never raises. He's always kind of, not monotone, but he has this kind of voice that makes you feel comforted. And he talks about, you know, with his wife too, he just kind of, their relationship is kind of like that too. Of course they have passion, of course they do this, but it's very, not that they don't have ups and downs, but he explains the relationship with his wife in his book. So I'm referring to this. Um, They kind of go through that wave too. And that's how their relationship is even in coherence with his brand overall. It's kind of how he lives every aspect of his life. So you have the ability to build your brand and for us to get in a little bit more of that personal side of your brand, you're going to create that same impact. You have the ability to create that same impact that your reputation precedes you. People are talking about you when you're not in the room and they're saying, wow, she's such a great teacher on health and wellness. I love going to her content over her content because I like her voice better or I like how she delivers her message. I like that it's you know calm, cool, and collected. It's not so in my face. Some people like the in your face style, like a Gary V. Gary V and Jay Shetty, they do very similar work, but Gary V is more in your face, let's get it together, where Jay Shetty is like really making you pause and think. Not that Gary doesn't, but it's just two different approaches. It's just two different. He made, they, those two may resonate with two different types of people, two different styles of people at different times based on what they need. And you have that same ability within your brand, but we need to make sure that you are building that personal side of your brand in coherence and in congruence and all those things together with your business brand. We need to know who you are behind your brand. It's not as scary as you think to get a little personal in your brand. And it's not as overwhelming to get a little bit personal in your brand. If you're wondering where to start, okay, I want to have this great impact. I want to have this ability to affect people without me even meeting them, without me ever knowing if they like my posts or even if they read it. I just want to have that impact where they're seeing what I say and putting it into effect and maybe they're buying my products or maybe they're filling out the form on my website to get on a coaching call with me and one thing leads to another and then they're a client. You want to have that impact. You want to have that impact where people are referring to you as the go-to and to your expertise here person. You have to start building that personal side. But I promise it's not that hard. My brand new mini course, I guess it's not so brand new anymore. It's been down a couple of weeks. We've got some people in there already building their personal ends of their brand, incorporating that into their business brand. It's a super easy to follow step-by-step process of building the first steps really of building that personal brand. So we cover really getting to the bottom of who you are, how you want to be known, how you can incorporate that into your business brand, where you can be aligning your business brand with your personal brand and how to show up through your brand, through your business brand as you. This isn't about fitting you into a box. This isn't about doing things the way they're doing it or they're doing it or Jay's doing it or Gary Vee's doing it. This is about you. Your brand is all about you. Your business is all about you and what you want to teach and what you're passionate about and what you what your greater purpose is. 
So we want to figure out a way to highlight the unique traits that make you uniquely you. You are going to be the factor that sets you apart from others in your field. You are going to be the factor that has somebody coming back to you time and time again, either to consume your content or to buy your courses, to buy your programs or to buy your products. You are that piece. And that's exactly what Jay does for us. He is that piece that creates this overwhelmingly large community that keeps coming back to him time and time again, because they like the way he delivers his message. Then they turn into paying customers and clients, and you can have that same effect. If you're wondering how to do this again, I walk through the first four steps of how to do this in my brand new maybe not so brand new, mini course, personal branding and beyond. It is now available for just $37 USD. Again, first steps you need to really start curating that perfect standout personal brand that you need to grow your business and ultimately grow your life. This early bird pricing is not going to be in effect that much longer. So definitely head over, check out the link, see if it's for you. If you've got questions, I'm always here for you. But remember, you are the thing that sets your business apart. So make sure we are seeing the real you. I'll talk to you guys later.